No matter where you are, there's a place you can go. I'm Wayne Quenville, the new primary principal at Antwerp International School. Watching students grow and fulfill their dreams has been one of the most amazing parts of being a teacher. How was your year? It's hard. Good. To me, the primary years program, known as the PYP around Antwerp International School, is really all about taking kids beyond the basics. Taking kids to new levels of learning and empowering them to become capable learners themselves. You created such a beautiful prototype. In your opinion, after all you've learned, do you think in the future we can reach this successfully as a society, you know, here in Belgium? Will we be living in homes like this? Why? Hopefully. Inquiry learning is the basis for everything that humans do and, you know, empowering kids to realize that and help them learn to understand what they want to learn and to go out and figure it out and solve it and research it and create the things that help them become the successful members of society that they want to be. The PYP is about action, not just from a service point of view, but taking action for self, realizing your potential. I'm Alexander. I'm Esteban. I'm Isaac. We're from Grid 5's Action News Group. Thinking about the primary years program and action and service learning, I really think about student leadership. And so one of the things as director of curriculum is really uh, allowing the kids to help co-create the curriculum with their teachers. I've been fortunate to have an amazing team of teachers. One, two, three. Thank you! Awesome. The thing that gets me up in the morning and helps me realize how much I love coming to work every day is that I don't feel like I'm going to work. I feel like I'm going to play. I feel like I'm going to have an adventure every day with my students, with my teachers, with my colleagues, um, with the parents in our community. Coming to school every day is about realizing the potential of the people around me. The relationships that I get to foster and develop um, just amaze me. You know, we have such an amazing group of educators parents and students at the school, I really feel empowered to help them live their best lives and succeed. The STEM Zone project that's been going on well before my time at AIS is something that is super exciting. When we think about the STEM Zone and STEM learning, really from a primary perspective, it's about that cross-grade making, that active inquiry. It's about getting kids, doing things hands-on, um, allowing them to, to have a dream and then make it come true, you know, whether it's baking pancakes, whether it's building the latest Lego robot, or whether it's designing the, the newest um, prototype for plastic recycling. In 2012, I decided to uh, go to work for the IB as a consultant. I'm very fortunate to have traveled as far as Russia, the Middle East, and here in uh, wider Europe, continental Europe, to visit schools. Um, it's a really empowering uh, and humbling role to be responsible, to be a good coach, a good listener, and take on the, um, the perspectives of these different communities and help them reflect on the standards and practices which guide all IB schools. My university career began on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. After three years there, I realized that I was destined to travel the world and be an educator abroad. I worked in Mexico, Toronto, Korea, Singapore, Germany. I was a vice principal at Strodoff International School and now the beautiful Belgium. About eight years ago, we came to visit and we realized, wow, this is a community school, this is a family school, this is where we want to eventually work and live. And I was very fortunate, very humbled to be selected to become the director of curriculum here. And for the last two years, that's been my role uh, as PYP coordinator and director of curriculum in the primary. So my favorite part of the job, without a doubt, is making the relationships that last a lifetime. It brings me so much joy to have met so many amazing colleagues over the last 18 years of teaching and I look forward to the next, who knows, 25, 30 years of teaching where I can continue to make these amazing relationships because they are the people that bring out the best in me, without a doubt. And it starts right here.